Sustainable hydrogen production for green energy. Hydrogen is one of the leading options for renewable energy. Commonly found in ponds, the use of cyanobacteria is a popular method to produce renewable hydrogen via nitrogen fixation during the photofermentation process of cyanobacteria. The process of nitrogen fixation occurs within the nitrogenase enzyme. This enzyme is comprised of two components, the molybdenum ion protein and the iron protein. Both components are inhabited and stabilized by aluminium fluoride and ADP. The molybdenum iron protein is referred to as the nitrogenase and contains the P clusters as well as the iron molybdenum cofactors, often referred to as the M cluster. The iron protein is known as the reductase and contains the iron 4 sulfur 4 cofactor, often referred to as the Fe cluster. The process of nitrogen fixation starts here as the iron protein transfers electrons obtained from reducing agents such as ferrodoxin to molybdenum iron protein. This conformational change requires energy, which is gained from the binding and hydrolysis of ATP at the ADP ALF4 site, bringing the iron protein and the molybdenum iron protein close together to associate and promote electron transfer. Electrons flow from the iron 4 sulfur 4 cluster within the iron protein to the P cluster within the molybdenum iron protein. Electrons are further transferred to the M cluster which allows for the completion of the ATP hydrolysis. The reduction of nitrogen, fueled by a supply of rich biomass, is carried out at this M cluster after sufficient addition of proton and electron equivalents. This diagram here details the full cycle which involves eight proton and electron transfers. The most notable step being the change between E3 and E4, as the transfer of four equivalents of protons and electrons results in the binding of nitrogen, which subsequently displaces hydrogen as a byproduct. Two ammonia molecules are additionally released further down the molybdenum iron protein cycle as a primary product of nitrogen reduction. By operating solely on biomass instead of fossil fuels, the hydrogen produced can be considered green hydrogen. Hydrogen can then be used in fuel cells to generate electricity, and the ammonia can be burned as a substitute for coal in power plants to reduce emissions, or it can be used in agriculture. Research into increasing the efficiency of this process is currently ongoing, such as the use of vanadium ion nitrogenases as opposed to molybdenum ion nitrogenases. While its mechanism is still unknown, it's shown to be three times as effective. Thank you for listening.